Okay, first things first, well, you're not going to stop getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That is never going to change. But I have made a second channel and it's doing pretty well at the moment. We just recently hit 100 subscribers. So I implore that you go and check it out. We're playing a variety of Nintendo games on that channel and we're having a really fun time with it. At the moment, we're playing through the new Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Princess Peach Showtime and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the N Nintendo 64. So go subscribe to the channel right now. What are you still doing here? Well, watch the video first and then go subscribe to the new channel. Look at the top right corner of your screen. There's going to be a link to the channel. There's also a link in the description as well. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in about versus Erland in the UU tier from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battle videos, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And with that being said, Let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Erlen. So they're going to lead off with Slow King. I did expect the Slow King lead. So I led off with my uh, Pyro, but it's not Pyro. It's actually Zoroark. So you may notice we're bringing Zoroark and Pyro again. I really want to make them work. And um, definitely want to make them work. So I'm going to go for a Night Day straight away because we may as well get some damage off on the Slow King as much as possible. Um, as they do take some accuracy drops, which is great. They're going to go for a Trick Room probably. They do. Um, so we faced Erlen with this team before, not too long ago. So I know it's a Trick Room team, and we lost horribly to it. So hopefully we can turn the tides this time. Um, so what I'm going to do here is they probably switch out, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go for a Copycat here. So we go for a Copycat, which is amazing. Copycat's going to come through. We go for a Trick Room again, and we get rid of that Trick Room by turning them back to normal. And then they go for a Chilling Reception. So I don't know how we outsped there in the Trick Room. Um, and maybe they've updated the game and chili reception is now negative priority, but it wasn't before it was based on your speed And um, so we do get that off, which is great And um, the copycat play was actually one of my favorite plays. I've just made in like a while. So that was a great I bet Sloking had the lagging tail. I bet that's why that happened I bet you any money. That's why that happened. So the, the high dropper comes in which is great and all we can go into get um, Tink Tom real quick Tonkatin or we can go into our actual pyro maybe um, I'm leaning towards going for a sludge bomb now um, or something along those now So I'm gonna go for the sludge bomb just to get some damage off on the hydropple if they terror then so be it But I don't think they will so we go for a sludge bomb It's gonna do some nice damage to the hydropple. It does half which is great and um, we get the poison as well Which is also amazing um, Which is absolutely amazing. They go for a leaf storm though, which is gonna take us right down to our sash Which is unfortunate. So we're not gonna be pulling off the copycat shell smash strategy that we have on this team um, inspired by Hayden. Um, so we do lower their stats. They're going to probably get a jet packed, right? Probably, right? Uh, yeah, a jet packed. So I'm, I'm guessing the Slow King's lagging tail so they can still go for a slow chili reception even under Trick Room. I'm guessing that's the case, but I could be wrong. So in comes Slow King once again. This thing's going to try and set up a Trick Room again. We just know that for a fact. So I'm going to go. If they're up, well, they might just take us out. I'm going to go for a Night Days real quick just to get as much damage on the Slow King as possible. As there we go, Night Days comes through, does some nice damage. Um, they go for a scold though. That's going to take us out. So they know we can't go for that copycat strat on the trick room anymore. However, they now have no way of getting the trick room up without us taking out the um, the uh, the thing. So I am going to go into Tinker Tom. Tinker Tom can come in and KO this thing with a knockoff, and we'll also get a knockoff on something else, which would be great. And um, they have two trick, no, three trick rumors. They got Sinister, Hooper Unbound, and Slow King. So if we can take Slow King out now, that'd be amazing. So they withdraw Slow King. What are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go with Zumaril? Probably, right? Hydrapple comes in, which is fair enough. Hydrapple coming in is great and all for them. We go for a knockoff. It's going to knock off whatever item they had. They do, in fact, get poisoned. They don't have an item for some reason. Oh, no, they'll have... No, they, they have Regenerator. They definitely have Regenerator. Um, let's get the Stealth Rock up first, and then we'll go for a Gigaton Hammer. So Stealth Rock comes through, which is great and all. And um, that's going to help with Chip with switching out and stuff like that. Um, there's nothing particularly weak Stealth Rock on that team. But they go for an Earth Power, which is going to sting quite a bit. Um, not too much, though. And then the Snow is going to stop as well. But luckily, we are leftovers. So I know we can take another hit from this thing. No problem. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go for a Switch Out, am I? Now, I don't really have the best Switch into an Earth Power other than the Iron Leaves. But I don't want to use that up yet. I'd rather save that for later. So I'm going to go for a Gigaton Hammer here. Just to get as much damage on the Hydrapple as I possibly can. So we go for a Gigaton Hammer on the Hydrapple, which is definitely going to take it down to Poison Range, as it does. As they go for an Earth Power, which shouldn't take us out. We do live on 2 HP, which is great. 
And then they're going to get hurt by the poison this next turn, which is also amazing. So we get our leftovers recovery, and then they go down to poison, which is fantastic. So we made the first KO on the Hydropel, and that's one of the big threats in Trick Room that they have on their team. Um, so we definitely want to, you know, take care of that. In comes Sinister. So this is another Trick Room setter. It's going to get hurt by Stealth Rocks and stuff, which is always nice. Um, now, though, we're going to go for a knockoff here. And the reason I'm going for a knockoff is quite simple. They're going to go for a Trick Room. But we have Encore, so I'm hoping they'll let us Encore them into Trick Room, which would be amazing. So we go for a knockoff, which should... Oh, they've got a... Ch oh, uh, oh, okay. They've got a Colber Berry, which is interesting. Is it Colber Berry? So that Colber Berry weakens our knockoff, and then we can't even knock off an item. So Trick Room comes through, which is all great and stuff um, for them. <laughs> Not for us. Um, so we get leftovers recovery. Now, here's the thing that Ursa Luna is a big threat. It's a very big threat. Um, Zoroark did really well this game, by the way. Um, so now I'm going to try and encore them, but they probably switch out. So I'm going to go for a Gigaton Hammer. Or they take us out of a Shadow Ball. It's either or. So they withdraw Sinister. What are they going to go into is taking a Gigaton Hammer? Is it going to be the Ursa Luna? Azumarill. Azumarill's not going to take this too well. It'll probably take it, like, but it won't take it too well. Gigaton Hammer is a base 160 move, after all, and it's Stab. So we go for it. It does a clean 50%, which is amazing. And then we get our leftovers recovery. So that's all good. Um, the problem we've got is this thing's banded. We need to see what they lock themselves into. So we need to sack something off. I am leaning towards the Blastoise switch. They may predict this though. Um, and But I think we just let Tinkerton go down here. I would like to knock off if I can. They go for a play rough though. I'm glad we didn't go into Blastoise there. Blastoise probably too it KO'd by that. So Tonkatin does go down, which is unfortunate. Um, and the way we're going to beat the Saluna is by Terra Stealing with Conkelda. So now that we know they're locked in, we can safely switch into Mufasa here. Like so. And we get the old nerve, which makes them so they can't eat berries. Would have been useful against that Sinister. Now what? Do we go for a Hyper Voice? Because Trick Room is going to wear off soon, right? Two more turns. Two more turns of Trick Room. Do we waste it now? Or do we... Hmm... I think they're going to switch, so I'm going to go for a Fire Blast. They do withdraw the Azumarill, as you would expect, because they are banded. You can tell they're banded by the damage it did to... Well, I, I just remember it from the last time we battled. So, Hooper comes in, which is going to not appreciate the Fire Blast too much. We go for said Fire Blast, and it's going to do a decent chunk of damage. A decent chunk of damage. Um, so, now what? Uh, this thing is probably going to attack us with some sort of Psychic-type move. Maybe. Um, can we take it? I think we can. I think we can take a hit from this thing. So I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Um, they go for the Hyper Saves Fury. Can we live that? We lived on 7 HP. Pyro coming through for us right now. Lowering their defenses. But they do have the Eject Pack. Interestingly enough. What are they going to go into? The Sinister? Could Sinister come in real quick? Maybe. So Slow King comes in, which is great and all. And um, we go for a Hyper Voice on the... Sloking, we're gonna get a throat spray boost, which is great. And that means we can take the sloking out with the next hyper voice. We don't need to terror into terror grass. So that's great. So throat spray is gonna boost our speed. The twisted dimensions do return to normal, which is amazing. We go for another hyper voice here. They kind of have to switch out, or they just let it die. One of the two, or they can go into Sinister. Sinister also works. So we go for a hyper voice, which is great. Sloking is gonna go down. And there we go. So we took out another Pokemon of theirs, which is great. This trick room team is tough to deal with. Trick Room teams in general are tough for me to deal with. Um, I know I've already battled this team, but I have the memory of a goldfish. So it's like, <laughs> I actually don't remember what a lot of these things do. I remember the Azumarill's banded. Unless they've changed it, they might have changed it for all I know. So in comes the Azumarill. This thing's going to Aqua Gels into Oblivion. Get some Stealth Rock Chip at least on it. Um, but we have to switch out into Blastoise here because they are definitely going to go for an Aqua Jet. Um, they probably think we're going to let them take us down, but that is not the case. As Mufasa is going to be withdrawn. And then we go into the Blastoise real quick. So Leonardo comes in, like so. There we go. It's a, it's a defensive one. They go for a knockoff, which is going to do a lot of damage. Not enough, though, as they knock off our eject pack. We go for a flip turn now, because they're locked into knockoff. So we go for a flip turn. They do, in fact, stay in, which is really unfortunate for us, because it means something else is going to take a knockoff right now. Um, which is very, very unfortunate. So I think I will have to sack off the Pyro. Um, so I'm going to have to go ahead and sack off the Pyro. I really didn't think they would stay in. So we'll go Pyro real quick. Get the Unnerve, which is useless at this point. Um, they go for another knockoff, though. That's going to knock off nothing. But it still KOs us because we have 7 HP left. 
Um, so I was relying on power for the Sinister, but we don't necessarily need it. And um, we can probably do a lot with just this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for... Hmm. Do I go Conk? Conk Elder could do well. Terra Steel and all that. I'll tell you what we can do. We can go into uh, Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves could really pull this back. They kind of they haven't used their Terra yet, so we need to you know do something about that. So we're going to we're going to get the booster energy into speed, which is great and all, um, and then we go for a Swords Dance. We definitely go for a Swords Dance. Maybe I should have Terra Fighting there, so we don't take as much damage from the knockoff. But the knockoff's not going to KO us anyway because we've already lost our item. So they withdraw the Azumarill, which is great. We get a free Swords Dance off. We're looking pretty good right now. They go into Hooper. Hooper's not going to appreciate this attack. They're probably sacking off at this point. Point stones do dig in, which is great. We get a sword dance off, which is fantastic. They may have expected something. I think they were just sacking off the um, Hooper at this point. So I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade. There's no reason not to, because even if they tear a steel, it should still take it out. Leaf Blade comes through. Down goes the Hooper, which is fantastic. So we are off to a very good start with this team. So the only problem we've got is the Sinister. The Sinister is going to be a problem. So they go into Sinister, which is their best option, really. Um, it is going to take some Stealth Rock Chip. So we might be able to take it out with Psyblade, actually. If we can take it out with Psyblade, then it's an it's a Iron Leaf Sweep. So we go for the Psyblade. It's plus two, special, uh, plus two attack. Doesn't get the KO. They go for a Trick Room. Damn! We were so close as well. That was such a... <sighs> that, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Now I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade, just in case they switch out into a Zaluna. They go for a Memento. Which is really unfortunate for us. I, f I forgot about the memento. Takes away our swords dance. which So we're still back at neutral attack. And then they go down. So Sinister is out of the way. It's got the trick room up though. Which is a problem. So we go for the leaf blade. Obviously it does nothing. In comes the Ursa Luna. So Iron Leaves is great and all. But we're going to have to sack something off actually aren't we? I think we have to go into Blastoise. We have to go into Blastoise here at this point. Because there's nothing else we can do. So we withdraw our Iron Leaves. We're going to go into Blastoise. We're going to try and save the Iron Leaves for later. Because it could definitely come in handy against their team. Especially the Azumarill. Um, so they're going to Terrastalize now. What type are they Terrastalizing into? Hopefully normal still. Um, because then we can still take it out with the Conkelda maybe. They go Terra Normal which is amazing. Terra Normal Facade is definitely going to take out my Physically Defensive Blastoise. Even though they haven't got the Flame Ball popped. Um, I think. So they go for a Fire Punch which isn't going to take us out. But they do get the burn. So this is good though. Because it means we're stalling out the trick room turns. So now we go for a body press. Just in case we live. Which I know we don't live. They go for a facade. Booster by terror. Booster by guts. It's definitely going to take out Blastoise. Down it goes. So Blastoise does go down. But it's fine. The only way we can do this now. Is by. Hmm. Going Conkelder, I guess. But they might expect the Terra Steel if I do that. And go for a Headlong Rush. I guess we go into Iron Leaves first to bluff the fact that we haven't got anything left for them. So we go Iron Leaves first to bluff that. So we're going to Verizon.net. There we go. And we just simply go for a close combat and see if we... Uh, you know, we're not. We're going to get taken out by a Facade. They go for Facade. At this point, they're probably thinking, right, it's GG in the bag. Um, if I'd have brought the Conkelder in now, they'd probably be thinking, oh, he's probably got a terror that's going to be, like, you know, resistant to Facade. Um, so they would go for a Headlong Rush, which would definitely take out a Steratil, Terra Steel Conkelder. But now, the Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal. We can go into Conkelder, like so. Good old Rumble Rock. And we can def definitely, definitely Terra here now, because they're probably thinking, right, this is our last Pokemon left. So let's go for a Drain Punch after we Terra Steel. So we Terra Steel, which is amazing. Hopefully they do go for a Facade here. That would be amazing if they did. But I have a feeling they are going to predict the Terra Steel and they're going to go for a Headlong Rush. I just have this feeling, a gut feeling. We do outspeed, so we're going to get some decent damage off first and foremost. Um, because of the uh, Trick Room wearing off. But it doesn't take them out because we haven't got our guts pronged yet. So they go for a Facade. They did fall for it. Great. And that's not going to take us out, no doubt. It does, over, it does half, which is great. They get burned. Now, we're going to get some health back by going for another Drain Punch. Because we outspeed them still. Um, so we'll go for another Drain Punch real quick. Conkelda could pull this back. Conkelda definitely could pull this back. 
So we go for another Drain Punch, which is going to take out the Ursa Luna. Get some health back, which is amazing. And now we should be able to live a hit from the, um, the Azumarill. We should. Should. It's a big should. But I'm not 100% confident, to be honest with you. I am not 100% confident because the Azumarill is probably going to go... Probably going to outspeed us for a start. Because I don't think the Azumarill will be based on Trick Room. I think it's just because Azumarill is naturally slow that it's on the team. So they go into the Azumarill. We can probably take this thing out of a Mach Punch, right? Gust Boost and Mach Punch should take it out. So we go for a Mach Punch. We definitely go for a Mach Punch here. Mach Punch comes through. Azumarill goes down. And that's going to be the game. We barely, barely, barely defeated Erland and his horrifying Trick Room team. I think we did really well that game. I don't think we made any misplays. My opponent didn't make any misplays either, I don't think. So that was a really good game. But anyway, here's the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I'm interested to hear what your stories are behind the team. And thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.